thank you uh, once again for uh, joining uh, our launch today. Um, so I think it's better start now. So first, I just want to say um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for some of you, maybe in different uh, time. Um, I trust uh, you've been doing well. Thank you very much uh, for your participation in this uh, exciting event. Uh, my name is Chub Sokjumran, or known as Kimran. I am one of the members of the uh, Stop TB Developing Country NGO delegation, and also the co-chair of the ACAP Activist Coalition for TB in Asia and the Pacific. I am currently working for um, one of the local NGO in Cambodia called uh, Kana as executive director. Um, welcome to uh, this Asia launch, a deadly divide, TB commitment versus TB reality is to join uh, TB affected community and civil society to discuss the six key action area that need to shift the TB paradigm and rely the TB UNHLM target and commitment. So our special guests and speaker uh, who join us for this event include Honorable Dr. Nisa Ahmed Chima, Member of Parliament and TB Parliamentary, Kirkus, Pakistan. Subra Mahanti, a Stop TB uh, Partnership De Developing Country and Geo Delegation, India. Merinda Sebayang, a Stop TB Partnership Com uh, Community Delegation, Indonesia. Sanya Said, TB Champion, Pakistan and Dr. Lucica Dicio, uh, Stop TV Partnership uh, Switzerland. We have one hour even, uh, but there is time for discussion at the end. So please join us. And at the same time, please also be informed. The event will be recorded. The report that will be talked you through soon is a milestone as it is community led. It demonstrates the deadly divide between commitment and reality, but also a deadly divide between and with country, particular for TB key and vulnerable populations. So Ricada, you play uh, <laughs> Hello, Kitty. Okay, so I think uh, better move now. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Ricarda, uh, for supporting on that. Um, so now um, I would like to move to next. Um, may I introduce Merinda Sebayan, who is from Indonesia, a member of ACAP, a representative of the Stop TB Affected Community Delegation, and a regional focal point for the Daily DY. So May, this is your floor, please. Thank you so much, Amrun. So good afternoon from Jakarta, everyone. Uh, good morning to Geneva, I guess. So it gives me a great pleasure to be here today. Um, and uh, can I share the screen or is it from the host? You can share your screen, mate, no problem. Okay, thank you. So um, once again, thank you so much. So today I would like to talk about the community's report uh, on progress towards the UN political declarations on the fight against TB and a call to actions to close the gaps in TB targets. So uh, the report with the title, A Deadly Divide, TB Commitments versus TB Realities, 
Uh, this report was led by a community, the three TB NGO and also affected community delegations. And uh, we also consulted and engaged more community broadly. So um, we, can, we, can, we can say that this report is community voice and also community prioritized. So the community's report uh, propose uh, it, uh, is to give the voice to those most directly affected by TB, people who are often left behind. And the report is a first for the TB community. And also uh, the purpose of the report is about progress report of the pivotal role played by communities and civil society in following up and monitoring the implementation of the political declarations and also holding stakeholders to account. This is also part of the global community's accountability process from now and also in coming years. And the purpose uh, of the community's report also aims to complement the 2020 UN Secretary General's progress report by providing an alternative and complementary view. So we can see this report is as a complement uh, to the uh, 2020 UNSG report. And also its status update on the declarations, targets and commitments through the lens of affected communities and civil society. Um, so, um, because this is community led uh, process, so over 150 civil society and affected community partners provided inputs through surveys, written submissions, and interviews. Um, they are from over 60 countries covering Asia Pacific, uh, Anglophone, Franco Lusophone, Africa, the Americas, Eastern Europe, Central Asia. Middle East, North Africa, and as well as donor countries. And the contents of the report consists of uh, introductions. We talk about the background uh, purpose and also methodology for community's report. And other part is about progress towards the political declarations. Uh, we have overview and also area for action number one to six. Uh, we, uh, we, we can uh, talk about this more later. And also uh, the report consists of call to actions and also uh, annexes. So the structures of uh, the report uh, we defined by six areas for actions. So uh, the area for action number one is about reaching all people through TB detections, diagnosis, treatment, care and preventions. And area for action number two about making the TB response right based, equitable and stigma free with communities at the center. An area for action number three is about accelerating the development of an access to essential new tools to NTB. An area for action number four is about investing the funds necessary to NTB. And uh, actions uh, for number five about um, committing to accountability, multi-sectorality and leadership on uh, TB. And because uh, now we are, uh, we are in the pandemic situations, we also add uh, the, six, uh, the, 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 the other area, the number six area, is about leveraging COVID-19 as a strategic opportunity to end TB. So the content under areas for actions uh, the, the, the progress or milestone snapshots under each area for action focus on the commitments or targets as per uh, the political declarations, the milestone as per 2020 UN Secretariat General Progress Report, uh, reported challenges and barriers about systematic and otherwise, and also documented case studies of community actions and response. So we also have the target checks that the target checks are provided throughout this report. So comparing the 2020 status of the response to TB with the commitments set out in the political declarations. They are referenced from the UN Secretary General's progress report produced by WHO in September 2020. So, um, 
The community engagement provides a rich body of evidence. So uh, the report tries to capture the rich grassroots experience through 25 case study. So the 25 solid community case studies showcase the value add of community engagement and their efforts to fill in the systematic and programmatic gaps. This provides a case for increasing investment in affected communities and civil society. For example, we have uh, the community case study about identifying TB key and vulnerable populations. Uh, we have a case study from Pakistan and, and also uh, Philippines. And um, we also have uh, the community case study, for example, number four about reducing drug resistance TB among people in prisons from Azerbaijan. And the key messages from the report are there have been important advance by governments, member states in all areas of actions in 2018 and 2020. However, the progress is too little and too slow. With a deadly divide between commitments and resolve, hitting hardest the key and vulnerable communities. And also the other key message from the report is about the role engagement and funding of TB affecting communities and civil society is essential to the scale and quality of policies and programs needed. The other key message from the report is include the introduction and scale up of community rights and gender initiatives are stepping in national TB strategies and also the trajectory of the epidemic for the better. In addition, it's also included about accountability for the response to TB remains weak with multi-sectoral and high level leadership often in, inadequate. The other important thing is funding for TB is inadequate. Donors and multilaterals need to increase investment in the response in affected communities and civil society, in research and development and in market expansion for new tools. And also the other key messages from the report is about COVID-19. We know that COVID-19 has disrupted almost everything. Mm. It is reversing the gates made in the response to TB, but mm. it is also an opportunity to build back better how we improve our, uh, our TB program. And then we set some call to action. Let me check. We also set, um, a call to actions um, in the in the report we stated that we issue this call to action to demand social justice in the response to TB a disease that is preventable and curable yet takes the lives of close to 4,000 people including 700 children every day we want to ensure that TB affected communities and civil society have a voice that our realities and our prioritize are understood that lives are saved. So the call to action, we call upon heads of state to lead uh, uh, UN member states in taking actions in the following areas. So the call to action number one, first about reach all people through TB prevention, diagnosis, treatment and care. And more specifically, uh, we call for national targets for TB that are strong, context specific and unchangeable, and also supported by aligned plans, framework and resource allocations. The other specific action that we call is innovative and community driven strategy to find the 3 million missing people with TB. And the other specifically action that we call for is to promote integrated TB HIV at all levels, emphasizing the scale up of family approaches to TB preventive treatment to achieve 100% TPT coverage for adults, adolescents and children, including HIV negative household contacts of people living with HIV and healthy transitions to short course of TPT regimens based on rifapentine and rifampicin. The other specific uh, action to call, uh, we can also refer to the complete document for the, for the uh, call action number one. And for, uh, for call to action number two is to make the TB response right base, equitable and stigma free with communities at the center. 
So specifically, the action uh, number two, we call for human rights principle as set out in the declaration of the rights of people affected by TB and also social justice to be the non-negotiable foundations for all response to TB at all levels. And also the specific action we call for TB affected communities and civil society to have a leadership role at all stages in countries. CRG assessment and action plan and stigma reduction strategy implementation, monitoring and review processes as part of national commitment to TB community system strengthening. And the other specific call, we can also refer to the complete document. And for the call to action number three, about accelerate the development of an access to essential new tools to end TB. So by choosing before the World TB Day, the 24 March of 2021, the use of all outdated and harmful TB diagnostic drugs and models of care, including injectable base regimen and smear microscopy for all, no matter a person locations, identity or economic status, in accordance with WHO guidelines. Instead, scaling up access to newer, safer and quicker options and fast tracking the development of priority, innovative new tools, including an accessible vaccine, a rapid user-friendly and point of care test and certain and less side effect prone treatments for, for all forms of TB. Also funding the operational and implementation research necessary to improve TB treatment outcomes for all. One of the specific uh, action we call for is to advocacy the pharmaceutical companies to remove any cost barriers to the introduction of newer, safer and quicker treatment options to facilitate immediate phase out of, of harmful TB treatments. And call to action number four about invest the fund necessary to end TB. The sp specific action we call for collaborations to fully achieve the $13 billion annual investment needed to achieve the political declarations target, including donor countries collectively doubling their investment in TB based on fair share contributions and also implementing countries increasing their domestic investment in TB. Another specific action we call for about parliamentarians to engage in domestic resource mobilizations to ensure that TB programs are fully funded, including for community system strengthening and also the implementations of new tools. Mm. And call to action number five about commit to accountability multi-sectorality and leadership on TB. So by addressing the current weakness in accountability for TB through urgently implementing an independent national multi-sectoral accountability framework for TB in every country with high level leadership and supported by a strong national monitoring and review system. Using the result to strengthen accountability action including the productions of annual country and global progress reports on the political declarations and the holding of a United Nations high level meeting on TB in 2023. So uh, specifically, we call for each country to not merely adopt, but implement the TB national multi-sectoral accountability framework. So facilitating the engagement of the first sector, including TB affected communities, and civil society, the journalists, lawyers, judges, members of parliament, and also celebrities uh, with a review mechanism that is triggered when targets are not met. Based on the framework, so each country to provide an annual report to the UN General Assembly on the progress toward the political declarations and to use that report as the basis um, for, an, for an annual review on progress in TB parliament. So for the call to action number six about leverage COVID-19 as a strategic opportunity to NTB. So 
by developing funding and implementing TV COVID catch-up plans to enable national TV programs to get back on track and accelerate progress toward the political declaration commitment with COVID-19 frame, <coughs> not as an excuse to fail to meet TV targets, but also as an opportunity to build back better. So for this call to action number six, specifically, we call for the development of TV COVID catch-up plans that are based on human rights principles. Yep. Meaningfully engaging communities affected by TB and civil society at all stages, scale up joint TB and COVID-19 test and trace initiative using the latest methods and leverage national COVID-19 infrastructures and innovations, such as a real-time data system, also including for TB. Another specific action that we call for, for the call to action number six is about the provisions of inclusive and comprehensive social protection system within universal health coverage that avoid catastrophic costs for TB and COVID-19 service users. And that also includes support for areas such as mental health, legal aid, nutrition, and loss of income of livelihood. So the next step for, uh, uh, for uh, the, the report, so there are several steps that we can now take, as we can call we, because it's including you and I and others. So hopefully everyone can share this report with our country partners, possible hosting a national launch even. And also we hope that we can download the advocacy toolkit and use the various template to share social media tiles, send a letter to donor embassies in our country, send a letter to political leaders in our country. And also we developed and sent press release from our organizations, which includes the report findings and also include the six calls to actions and relevance of TB4 country. So this is the link uh, that we can also download all the, all the materials. And uh, for notes, the advocacy toolkits also available in French, Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, and, African, and Arabic. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank May. you so much. And uh, over to you, Chamron. Thank you, Swan, again, May, um, for setting the scene, especially to call for the six key action area. And you could see from May's presentation, um, there are five uh, which are very much related, uh, which are uh, uh, the TB high level meeting declaration or target or commitment, you know. And the one that may just mention is linked to the pandemic that we have right now. So um, in, in the meantime, may also uh, mention, you know, as part of this uh, report, um, uh, you could see that uh, this process uh, also involved and led by the other three civil society delegation um, to stop TB and also support by the uh, stop TB. So may I call on Dr. Lushika, uh, Executive Director of Stop TB Partnership to respond to May presentation and to suggest how can we work together to implement the call to action. So Dr. Lushika, please. Hi, hello. Uh, greetings from uh, Geneva Airport. Uh, I'm sorry uh, it uh, happens like this uh, due to some personal problems, but I really didn't want to uh, skip the occasion uh, of being here at the first uh, of the seven launches that we will have mm. for this report. And uh, we were speaking uh, before the meeting started with few of you, uh, uh, you, uh, Cameroon, the chair, and Subrat, and few others, that this is an historical moment. And I want to clarify for everyone that is here with us, and I see it's an incredible number, uh, I want to thank them for being in the call, but also why do I say that uh, they are, uh, it's an historical moment is because we will have, uh, there are launches of this report uh, taking place uh, uh, for each of the regions, for Asia, for Africa, uh, Anglophone, Francophone, exactly as uh, Merinda said, uh, for Russian speaking countries, for Spanish speaking countries, for Lusophone countries for uh, the Americas. So this is first time that we do that. And what is also, I think, first time that we as a TB community, I'm speaking here as a person uh, infected with TB and part of the community in one way or another, 
is that we also here have, and it's an amazing coming together, not just of civil society and communities, but also parliamentarians, but also celebrities, people affected, technical partners, donors, and so on. But the last thing, so it is possible to come together. We have at country level different platforms that are uniting us in, in coming, in, in being able to work together. But, but, but I'm sorry for this uh, background noise, as I told you, I'm in the airport. But what I want to say is that this effort as of now or from now on should be absolutely driven by the civil society and communities. That's what is the most important. We should try and shift the situation in which the calling for the meeting and the efforts and, and, the, and, the, um, and the lead should come from the civil society and communities. And we all should come after and support. So that's the first thing. The second thing that, and this is the last thing that I want to say is that this report has an amazing title. It took a lot of time. You heard the Merinda, what she spoke about it. Uh, when you hear 150 countries, 115 civil society and communities, 60 countries, this is huge work. Our friend Sarah Middleton was really helping with, uh, with putting all this information together and I'm extremely grateful to her for all this work as well as all the others involved. Mm. But we need to do whatever it takes and as Stop TB, we stay committed to really support that all these recommendations are getting in place because uh, we cannot accept anymore that people promise things, it's really great, but then it's not really happening. And sometimes it might not be po possible to deliver everything or at, at 100%, but at mm -hmm. least recognizing that and phrasing it and trying to find solutions together is what's needed. You know, maybe people will say that it's really impossible to reach that, but can we speak about it and see what can be done? And can we do it in such a way that we are not uh, giving up our dreams and our hopes because they are not our dreams and our hopes are for everybody out there. So I really want to congratulate this uh, first of the seven uh, launches that we have and you Cameroon and everyone being with us and thank you for allowing us to be part of this event. And thank you, James Mahler. Thank you, bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Lushika, for showing and expressing your strong commitment to ensure how uh, civil society and affected community continue to take the lead uh, to ensure that uh, this call to action, you know, uh, uh, really come to real practice, you know. Thank you once again. Thanks a lot for that. Um, uh, in the report that presented by me, um, you know, um, we know that uh, we really want to see uh, more hand be joined to ensure, you know, the target and commitment uh, on TB uh, continue to exist and, and also need to happen. So this including the support of the member of parliament uh, to also join to have any better mobilize the resource and support the response. So now uh, may I call on Honorable Dr. Nisha Amit Chima, member of parliament, NTB Parliamentary Caucus Pakistan to reflect on the report and to suggest how civil society and member of parliament can work together to implement the sixth call to action. So please, Honorable, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for having me. Uh, I would like to commend the Activist Coalition and TV for Asia Pacific, the Asia Pacific TV Caucus, the Global TV Caucus, and the Stop TV pa Partnership on the launch of this forum and their continued efforts for the control of TV worldwide. This thought-provoking title indeed does justice to the gravity of the issue. This deadly divine has cost us millions of precious lives and will continue to do so if we do not enhance service delivery and enforce a far-reaching organized universal response. In 2018, as you know, we witnessed a much needed international initiative for TB control in the form of a UN high level meeting where several ambitious targets were determined. However, lofty ideals alone cannot suffice. A thoroughly planned, well-equipped, concerted global effort is required 
to achieve implementation goals and bring about a lasting impact on TB incidence. This issue, ladies and gentlemen, is one that is especially vital to me as before being elected to the legislature and joining the policy making domain, I have spent three decades in the Department of Health and personally led the efforts against TB as the Director General of Health Services of Punjab, the largest province of Pakistan with a population of more than 100 million. According to recent uh, statistics, Pakistan is the fifth highest TB burden country in the world with an estimated 510,000 new TB cases emerging each year and approximately 15,000 developing drug resistant TB cases every year. Pakistan accounts for 61% of the TB burden in the WHO Eastern Mediterranean region and also estimated to have the fourth highest prevalence of multi-drug resistant TB globally. With this deeply con concerning state of affairs, Pakistan is committed to providing universal access to TB care and achieving zero TB death while reducing the prevalence of TB by 50% in the general population by 2025. Through the efforts of Stop TB Pakistan and Dupasi Foundation, we have been able to gather a group of parliamentarians together in the form of National NTB Parliamentary Caucus in Pakistan. The NTB Parliamentary Caucus in Pakistan is determined to spearhead all necessary legislative measures and national policy design in close cooperation with all stakeholders, including the civil society and the federal and provincial ministries of health. Uh, we urge all relevant local and international bodies engaged in this critical effort against TB to reach out to the caucus so we can join hands and play an effective role in bridging the gap between commitments to TB targets and worrying realities on the ground. I would like to take this opportunity to request my esteemed co-panelists to make attempts to involve the MPs, the members of parliament of their respective countries as the elected representatives of the people are, are uh, perhaps the most ideal in position. They are in the best position to educate and sensitize their communities and ensure their mobilization and active participation in the fight against TB. Mm -hmm. This would greatly strengthen and complement your existing laudable efforts in this regard. Let us come together to work out how we can jointly strengthen the TB response and ensure that next year we are not meeting here and still talking about 4,000 lives, mm -hmm. including 700 children being lost every year to a disease that is preventable and curable. Mm -hmm. Our focus for the coming year is also aligned in working with the communities and facilitating and encouraging them to raise their voices. The caucus will certainly ensure that the civil society and the affected communities are heard and they are part of the accountability framework. It is our hope that with strong political will and necessary in operational capacity, a unified approach, we can play a part in bridging this deadly divine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Honorable Dr. Jima, for your um, uh, strong support and especially for your call and uh, for call for action, especially from the other member of parliament from the region uh, to support and join action to ensure that, you know, we will not hear the same promise, but we need to make a difference uh, from year to year to ensure that no, no more lie lost every day, you know, because of TV. So thank thanks once again, uh, sir, for that, for that commitment. And I hope um, from all of us who are participating in this event, we will uh, support to ensure how can we better work with the member of parliament and to move this call for action. And I know that um, uh, uh, Tusha, uh, who worked for the Global TB Caucus and worked very closely with MP, um, um, if I can invite Tusha uh, uh, to say uh, some word concerning and respond to what uh, Honorable uh, Dr. Jima just mentioned uh, of how uh, MP in the region uh, 
will be supporting the implementation of uh, how we can uh, ensure that uh, we can better work and move the recommendation. Tusha, uh, can you say some words, please? Thank you so much, Chamron, and, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here, and especially a pleasure to be following Dr. Chima because he's made some absolutely fantastic points. It's really great to hear that parliamentarians such as himself are so keen to work with civil society, and, and as he said, I think what really our work has proven to us is that with support from civil society and working with parliamentarians, we can really have a huge impact on, on TB, and I think that's particularly necessary now that we're facing the world post-COVID. Um, but in terms of the work that's already been going on in the Asia Pacific, I'm, I'm really happy to report that we're coming right off the back of, of the very first uh, virtual Asia Pacific summit. Uh, there we had the chair of the Pakistan caucus, uh, the Honorable Dr. Narsheen Hamid as well, speaking about the work that they've been doing. Uh, we had 15 members of parliament, about 11 of them uh, provided updates from their countries. Um, I won't go into too much detail about this, and we hope to be sharing a few updates with you from that. Um, but from, from the side of the Asia-Pacific uh, TB caucus, the recently adopted declaration, literally a couple of hours ago, um, it is, is, is strongly reaffirming a lot of the uh, points that Dr. Chima has made, and, and particularly emphasizes the need for parliamentarians for, to be pushing for a people-centered response, and for them to be using their position as, as you know, key stakeholders to make sure that there's coordination between all the different partners, and, and that directly then feeds into the whole issue of accountability and how we make sure that the multi-sectoral accountability framework is being effectively implemented and, and definitely parliamentarians are going to play a huge part of this and so on behalf of the global tv caucus i'd just like to say we're fully committed to helping this uh to seeing this through and to, to, to helping us accelerate the work against tb as as much as possible with our network of parliamentarians from around the world um so thank you for that thank you so much uh to Sarah for uh, your uh confirmation and support to what uh, Honorable Dr. Jima uh, commit and once again uh, said thank you so much uh, for your strong leadership and strong commitment to ensure how we especially MP can work together uh, from the perspective of lawmaker to make sure that the resource uh, the leadership the commitment can be uh, moved fast as much as we can to to to, to support and lead in the future. thank you so much to sir and uh, Honorable Dr. Jima so um, you would see that um, for TB response, uh, we need to have more political attention. And that confirmed by Dr. Honorable uh, uh, Dr. Jima and also Tusha. And it should be more discussed as an issue in the mainstream. And a significant way to do that is for people who have a platform of influence to use that influence to sign a line on the need of TB response. Sunya Said an actress and TV champion from Pakistan. Her commitment to the issue is appreciated by people affected by TB in the region as her engagement provides a means to raise a wall on behalf of so many others that do not have the opportunity. And we thank her for her commitment, her passion, her partnership. And may I invite her to launch uh, the report and to say some words on why this is an important issue for her. Sunya. This is your floor, please. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Good morning and good afternoon um, to everyone. Um, I have been a part of um, this fight against TB in different ways and on different platforms. Um, and very, very grateful uh, to have been included in, in this process and fight uh, that all you very honorable and very, very um, knowledgeable people are part of and doing some very important practical work. I commend all the people who have put together this report, which is very, uh, it must have been a, a very difficult task. Uh, there were too many people and too many uh, countries involved and I can see that it was, um, it was quite a, a job. But thank you very much for putting it together. I also, um, when uh, uh, the report was being presented, I was also being educated about a lot of things. Um, if I may, I would also like to include one thing that people who have these platforms uh, mm. to disseminate information, uh, more and more such people need to be included and educated. I don't think there is enough education even in the educated about diseases in general and TB in particular. I don't even think most people recognize 
um, how big this problem is, especially in, in countries in my region. And uh, our situation is particularly bad. So I think more and more people need to, to be included in that so that they can speak about it more. And um, I most definitely um, endorse all the um, recommendations of the report and I have the privilege and I have been asked to, and I'm very honored to launch the report officially, uh, which will be um, uh, launched in several different languages. Uh, and this is the first of the many launches that are to follow. So uh, good luck to all of us. And uh, even though it's been two years now since the uh, very important meeting of the UN, um, our progress is a little slow, which is not a very good thing, but we understand that it was very, very difficult. Uh, the, co the whole COVID situation has thrown everybody off balance. Uh, and yet um, our soldiers are out there fighting, talking, uh, making action plans, following them up and no little effort is little really as far as this big, huge problem is concerned. So um, committing myself as well to whatever little job and contribution I can make. So here, stop TV now. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much, Sanya, uh, for uh, your uh, strong support and especially in this launch. So the report is now officially launched, as you say, and uh, we need uh, to ensure how uh, this report can be translated into action. And like Jim mentioned in the chat box, there will be the other event and the re report uh, will be shared in different language. So this is the first of the launch uh, in our region uh, as confirmed by Dr. Luchika as well. So thank you once again, Antonia and Sang, and congratulate to all the partners who contribute uh, for their work and uh, support in the launching of the report. So the report, again, is officially, officially launched. Thank you so much, thank you. So um, it comes to the next uh, call to action uh, call. Uh, we need to move to the other step. And uh, uh, I would like to call uh, Subrat Mohanty a uh, stop TB developing country and your deviation and reach and there uh, to reflect on what we need to do next. So Brad will talk through the advocacy and other uh, action. So, so Brad, can you please uh, join us of what can we do next after this, the officially launch of the report. So Brad, please. Thank you. Thank you, Chamroon. And uh, it's a pleasure meeting with you and all the, the delegations here. Uh, First of all, I'd like to, to congratulate and thanks uh, the civil society delegation, the community delegation of the Stop TV Partnership, the effort of Stop TV Partnership Secretariat, James and the team for coming up with this historic document. It's really historic. I echo Dr. Luchika. When two years back when we had the first uh, ever UNHLM meeting where we discuss about TB. Many countries, they came together and joined together to, to support the effort towards TB elimination. And down the line, after one year, one and a half years, when we reviewed the progress, we could see that uh, the achievements, uh, have, I mean, no way we matched to the achievements, but we had promised two years back. So this deadly divide, we committed what and what we have achieved now. And this document has actually captured a number of relevant points why things have not happened the way it was planned earlier. So with that, uh, uh, Chamron, I, uh, I listened to, uh, to Dr. Nisar, uh, uh, the, the member of parliament, Pakistan, Luchika, uh, my colleague uh, Tusar and uh, uh, and others also. So I will start with uh, Chabrun, the, the, the six, uh, basically the advocacy ask, and I, then I'll go to what we can do uh, in terms of ask and uh, in, uh, also in terms of media. Okay. So in terms of the advocacy ask from the civil society and community uh, side, 
Now it is time to close the deadly divide between promises and access, and largely for TV affected communities. Two years end of time, and we should start looking at this. And I, I was listening to to Sanya also. She talked about COVID. Every day we see real time data on COVID nineteen. We need same for TB also. Why not? If you want to end TB by 2030, that wishful target <coughs> set up uh, in the uh, UNHLM declaration. Government and donors who, who had promised that uh, they would work uh, towards uh, TB elimination effort, ending TB by 2030, they should, they must work for TB affected communities and civil society. And we know, we know that, we know very well that what to do at the end for TB. We can, we can control the TB, the spread of COVID-19 and TB with, with an integrated approach. It's basically the government has to pull together an urgent plans to, to set up the things in the right way. And uh, the last point, which I, I would say I'd advocacy ask that no more outdated TB diagnostic treatment mm. and care. Mm -hmm. We need updated, upgraded version of diagnostic care and, and also. Mm. So, so in terms of achieving all these, all these ask, I would I would urge the civil society and communities and all uh, all the the participants who are here, they are listening and they are probably they also watching somewhere, that we all should write to decision makers mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, see, see read about six action points in the beginning and remind them that the the commitment uh, uh, for the TV in the ULHM declaration. Request uh, all the, the decision makers for a virtual meeting or in-person meeting. I, I know this is the time where we can do much more virtual meetings with the decision maker. And again, to remind them that about the report, <laughs> deadly divide, how it is actually happened and what they can do. We can demand action I was listening to Tusar, I was listening to Dr. Nisar, the, the political commitment. We need action, we need more action. We, we also want to monitor the progress and hold the uh, held government accountable. Somebody has to be accountable because once we have committed. And uh, we try to see that we can engage the policymaker proactively. Try to promote that that area. And uh, again, I, I echo uh, Sanya that we, we need to increase the, the voice for raising awareness. Mm -hmm. It's not only voice among civil society and the community, also among the general population. Mm -hmm. That that the deadly divide advocacy us are heard clearly. And also organize uh, online and in-person report launches, the one it's happening today, we can do it uh, among various stakeholders at various levels. And this is this is something at the policy level and, and at a different level. On the social media, uh, we can also organize press briefing to share the findings of the report with media, disseminate press release, write media, media article, opinion pieces, and later. We'll try to say that at least in the television or radio show, they, they can give a slot to talk about deadly divide. Speak to uh, public, raise awareness to also media. And uh, you know, Chamron, at the end of the day, I, I would like to say that uh, having 
we have gone all gone through this uh, deadly divide report we all have worked towards it and thanks to james and the team for for supporting uh, this effort thanks to the delegation my my delegation austin uh, the board member and timur from the from the from the community board member they 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 have really supported hard to see that at least we come up with a very strong report which we can submit to the annual meeting so my my last last point uh, uh, chabron is that nothing for us without us we we all have to be there we all have to be involved we all have to be engaged and i know the stop trade partnership all the country program they they are strongly supporting the the efforts towards elimination of tb but we need more push more effort and and the support from from everywhere so thank you so much chebron for giving this opportunity and thanks to all the delegates members thank you so much thank you so much so brother uh, for uh, your commitment and your um, inspiration of how we as a civil society and affected community together with our stakeholder and support our government counterpart our media our celebrity work together to ensure that how can we better move uh, the commitment the uh, ensure we can reach the target so that is a uh, really really important and once again thank to all the hard work that the delegation have contributed to the development of this report especially uh, as uh, dr lucia mentioned or jame also mentioned this report is very very um, uh, important report which uh, uh, share the input by more than uh, 150 civil society and tb affected community over more than uh, 60 country you know so this is really really comprehensive report and we need to ensure that uh, we ought to present to our stakeholder and uh, 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 then engage them and uh, uh, get them in uh, to, to 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 respond to call for action to ensure that you know uh, tb uh, could not be continued one of the silent killer you know um, for many lives and many already. So those who are out of date, um, uh, you know, diagnostic tools should be no longer the case to be dropped. And you also mentioned the last word, you said nothing about us without us. It remind me of my time here for HIV program. <laughs> we also mentioned that it's important. You know, we want to, to ensure we uh, can move faster. Uh, we need to work together. We need to work together. So multi-sectoral um, partnership that I mentioned by May in her presentation and also in the report is very critical, but ensuring that accountability uh, take place. So we need uh, a joint hand. So once again, thanks, thanks so much. So now we still have some time. So if anyone have any question, uh, so please, yeah. We still have about 10 minutes before we end uh, uh, this event. So if anyone have anything to say, any feedback, uh, any suggestion, any recommendation, please do so. Try to see if someone uh, raise hand or put in the box. Jim and Ricarda, you can support us. If there is any question or comment from our audience, our speaker, our guests, you know. Ah, Tusha, Tusha, please, you raise your hand. Thank you so much, Chamron. And I know I've already spoken, so I'll be really quick. And I've put this in the chat as well. Uh, but I really do want to make this point is, is just to say that um, the, the, the Global TV Caucus, we, I, I mean, firstly, I want to say congratulations to the entire team. This is a fantastic report, and it really, really expands on, on where the UN Secretary General's report isn't able to go into too much more detail. Um, and I just want to say that the Global TV Caucus will be preparing a series of, of briefings specifically for parliamentarians after this. So in the next week or so, we will have briefings based on this report that we will be preparing for parliamentarians and be sharing that. Um, but just to say, I mean, it's a fantastic report, definitely worth the read and, and, and worth disseminating amongst everyone. So congratulations to everyone involved. Thank you. Thank you, Tusa, for your um, um, uh, leadership and your um, uh, confirmation of support of how can uh, the report be uh, present 
into a way that we can uh, mobilize the MP in our region to support that. But again, uh, the report will be uh, translated into a different language, and as Jay mentioned, and hopefully uh, we can use uh, those reports. Uh, and this is only the first of the six plan even yeah, for the launch of the report. So we still have more to go, but uh, thank you uh, the Stop TV and Jane for the support, especially uh, uh, to have uh, the first event happen here in our region. Any other common question? Someone may I? I? I cannot raise my hand. Oh, Sorry. my friend, Adi, please. Adi. Thanks. Everyone. Hi, and congratulations, everyone. And uh, thanks, Chamrun, for excellent facilitation. Just to also uh, speak from the perspective of the activist coalition on TB Asia Pacific, where Chamrun is co chair, as well as from the Asia Pacific uh, Community Rights and Gender Communication and Coordination Platform, which Caso hosts. Really uh, warm congratulations to everybody who was responsible for putting together this report. It would be very valuable as a resource for communities and civil society working to advance uh, human rights of uh, TB survivors and TB affected communities. But we all know that the report would only be as valuable as how we maximize the use of it. So just to say and to encourage everybody else that at Asia Pacific in its endeavors, some are supported even by Stop TB, for example, as we're rolling out uh, workshops to help support uh, capacity building of TB, of TB survivors, we would also look forward to incorporating uh, the points and the report, uh, trying to incorporate that in our broader work also as APCASO, uh, because uh, again, a valuable report, quite cutting edge in terms of the process that was undertaken to put this together. It would really be a waste not to see it being used uh, and uh, we would use it in the region. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Adi. Thank you very much, thank you. Um, so any other comment or suggestion? Uh, we still have more time to go. And especially uh, thank you, Sanya, uh, who confirmed about, you know, that that is a, a critical part for moving TB response is about education and raising awareness. So I think that is critical also. Um, we need to make sure that um, uh, education about TB, awareness about TB should be um, uh, continue uh, to be uh, shared. Uh, and and uh, Sanya, you want to add more, please? Just one thing, because um, in our region, education is, is really almost non-existent, I'd say, or very, very less. Um, understanding disease, as we now see in response to COVID as well, is uh, is not easy. It is always in in uh, co in contradiction or in conflict with survivor, mm -hmm. uh, and with TB. Um, it, it's a it's a very uh, tricky disease. It's difficult mm -hmm. to diagnose. It changes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it it camouflages itself. It disguises itself. It's um, without specialized uh, places to go to and uh, with without specialization and understanding of the i don't know how to really explain it because they only know tb in one form and that mm. form is the extreme form of it mm. so i think what really needs to be done is to to constantly talk about it more in its different uh, stages and forms as well uh, when it's written content when it's it's um flyers and billboards most of the people can't read mm. a, a big big population uh does not know how to read however bad that is i think more verbal communication needs to be done radio can be a very very effective medium in our in our region i think more uh, such programs where mm -hmm. it can be recognized within the community early, in the families early, so that the families can reach out earlier is, is a very important factor. I'm sorry, I'm constantly going on about communication and, and understand because that's the first problem. They never go uh, for a diagnosis because they just don't recognize it or the, or the symptoms are camouflaged. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think more of that uh, should also be emphasized. and. Uh, when we are when we are talking about the the point where we are talking about communicating with the community, um, 
uh, it, it's very important that not only we go there and but we use all the other mediums possible and sort of bombard uh, the kind of the way uh, COVID information was bombarded from, you know, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm using this word, but it, it, I think that's what needs to be done to for the disease to be understood. And it's yeah. such an old yeah. disease. Like yeah. uh, uh, people would generally tell you my grandmother had it, her grandmother had it. It's been there for ages and yet we are unable to uh, mm -hmm. diagnose it and recognize it. So um, I think that that is a key thing. It's a key thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asanya. Recognize it within communities. Thank you. Thank you so much, Asanya, um, uh, to come out and uh, emphasize the importance of how education continue to be about this TB. That's why very important in TB response. We cannot do things as usual. We have to do something that in a better way. It has to be uh, in innovative. Uh, you know, that's why a more force, more hand, more partnership is required, including media, for example. You know, they they can play a very critical role in addition to your role as a champion, as an actress, uh, to, to, to bring about education to the public. Um, so once again, thanks so much uh, for confirming that and uh, pick up this critical point. Jim, uh, you want to say something, Jim, and then uh, yes. move to step up? Thanks, Chamruan. So firstly, I just wanted to say a big congratulations to all the delegation members from the region, to you, Chamruan, to Subrat, to May, to Rhea, uh, to Mara and others uh, and all the other partners in the region who have been involved in producing the report. It is a, very much a first for TB and there's some really powerful sort of language and, and advocacy opportunities in the report and loves, you know, seeing in particular the, once it's released, you'll see that there's about 25 case studies which really ground the report in like the community experience. I just wanted to mention a little bit about next steps as well. And um, Sanya, I think that your, your ideas are exactly on point and Subrat as well. Um, and also the, you know, each Dr. Dr. Chasma as well. The, the need to sort of engage broadly is really, really critical. And I note that from the side of SOPTB, the next challenge facility for civil society round um, has been, will be announced in January. It will be triple the size of previous ones. And there'll be a lot of opportunity to, I think, for country partners, regional partners, to really take forward ideas about these recommendations uh, and to implement them at country level. So just to sort of remind people that that is a, a really good opportunity to make sure that these recommendations, the words and the advocacy are not just a report that sits on the shelf, but something that can be put into action. So thanks very much and congratulations again. Thank you so much, Jim. And so Brock, you want to say something? Uh, yeah, 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 Chamut. Uh, basically, I, I read the statement from uh, Amrita, who is a TV champion in India. And uh, okay. I certainly... I certainly agree with uh, her that, uh, you know, Amrita, that uh, almost like over 4,000 uh, people die every day uh, yep. in, in TV. And uh, it's, it's a grave situation uh, in terms of the death. And uh, she's asking why why the, the deaths are also not reported by media. So this is, mm. this is something I concern uh, Amrita. And uh, I, I definitely understand that mm. uh, it's a serious issue in, in TV also. So having said that, Chimur, uh, uh, again, I would like to say that uh, as a civil society delegation member, and I, I work with uh, REACH in India, uh, a, a national organization, and we are working very closely with uh, the TV communities, TV champ making them TV champions uh, 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 in several parts of the countries. So uh, and personally, I would see how, how we can engage them uh, through this report and how, how we can build an advocacy through them uh, also. And uh, I, I would seek support from uh, uh, the others in, in, in my country, in the region, uh, the global TV caucus and others. Thank you so much, Chamri. Thank you so much, Sabra. And I think uh, the time is almost <laughs> over. So once again, I just would like to thank to our special guests and speaker, uh, including our Honorable Dr. Nisa, uh, for uh, his uh, wonderful leadership in the TB response, but now become uh, one of the champions uh, in moving the legislative action to support TB response and support by our global TB caucus, uh, Tusha, for your um, uh, contribution for, for the discussion. So, uh, for your support, not just uh, 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 
discussion in this one, but also your input into the report. May for your wonderful presentation of the report and your active engagement in the development of uh, this report as well. Uh, Sonia, as part of the champion, thank you so much uh, for you actively involved in the discussion, but also your um, your so your passion instead of how the uh, the response to this should be uh, make different uh, from what we are doing right now, and to make sure that no no more life should be lost, and especially to Dr. Luchika as uh, 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 the champion for Stop TB Partnership uh, to support, and uh, James in particular, to confirm that uh, we will have more even uh, uh, to go uh, to ensure that um, the report can be uh, widely, uh, widely uh, disseminated and uh, ensure that uh, uh, the call for action uh, from community uh, can be heard by a different stakeholder especially in the country and especially saying also to RD with our region, uh, with the leadership of the RD and the APCASO, the support act AP, I think we do have a different platform as part of the CIG strengthening and support by Stop TB and other mechanism, funding mechanism. We hope that uh, uh, we, we can uh, better move uh, the call to action as uh, stated in the report. So once again, thanks a lot to everyone. Uh, saying uh, to Ricardo for your support and uh, and uh, saying uh, also to all our uh, audience uh, for this event. We have almost uh, 100 people who join us. So congratulations, the report officially uh, uh, launched today and thank you once again. Thank you and have a good day, everyone. Uh, be safe and uh, stay healthy. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Chairman, Chairman, can I just, Chairman, I'll just quickly add one thing as well. Um, we had two amazing authors who really managed to pull together all the inputs and the community voice, Sarah Middleton Lee and Lynette Mabote. And um, I know Sarah has been on this call as well. So just a big thank you to them for their commitment. It was a huge amount. Having uh, over 150 inputs from over 60 countries meant that their job was incredibly challenging, but they did it so wonderfully. And, you know, they had no precedent really to work on in the context of TB. And so a big thank you to them for all of their work as well. Uh, and thanks thank to you, you Chamron, so for moderating thank so well. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jim. You are your brilliant support. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.